Talk, talk. Talk, talk. Who is it? Who is calling me? <coughs> Who are you? We finally meet. I'm Talk Talk from 2024. 2024? You're from the future. That's right. Excuse me, but why are we so different? Talk Talk, you wouldn't know, but a lot happened in one year. What happened? You'll find out soon enough. By the way, Talk Talk, are you happy? I think so. My work is fun and not very stressful. Enjoy it while you can. What are you talking about? Diplomat Talks disappears after a year. What? So, enjoy it while you can. Was it a dream? What is this? Neri, where are you? We have to meet. Now. I'll explain when we meet. Nuri, Nuri. We're in trouble. 무슨 일인데요? Diplomat Talks is gone next year. 누가 그래요? Talk Talk from the future. 그게 무슨 말이에요? 좀 알아듣게 얘기를 좀 해주실래요? I had a dream last night, and the future me came and gave a prophecy. 뭔 예언이요? Diplomat Talks 없어진다고요? How did you know? 아니 근데 꿈 이야기인데 왜 이렇게 난리예요? 꿈이잖아요. It didn't feel like one. The temperature, humidity, atmosphere. It all felt real. Um, Why are you so peaceful? What? I'm in shock. You want diplomat talks to get cancelled? Then, don't you need to at least give this a bit of attention? Let's make a plan. A plan to upgrade diplomat talks. <laughs> we need to start by convening a full meeting. Everyone, it's an emergency situation. If this isn't serious, I don't know what is. 무슨 문제 있나요? 아니 그런 게 아니라 톡톡님이 꿈을 꿨는데 디플로맨 톡스가 없어지는 꿈을 꿨대요. <웃음> it's not a dream. It's a premonition. 아니요. 꿈이에요. 꿈이에요. 그냥 악몽. 근데 어쨌든 제가 이 꿈을 믿고 그런 건 아니지만 톡톡님이 이제 디플로맨 톡스를 한 단계 더 업그레이드 시키자는 제안을 했어요. 근데 업그레이드를 시키자는데 뭐 반대할 수 없잖아요. 뭐 좋은 거니까. 그래서 일단 모이자고 해서 왔습니다. 뭔가 점검의 의미인가요? Yes, let's call it a checkup. Let's go around and give ideas. Let's all do our best for the success of Diplomat Talks, the next level. Well, hop on. 
Come on, let's go to our first embassy. Ah, 저기요. 문 닫으시면 어떡해요? Audio test 중. 톡톡님 여기 처음 와보죠? Yes. Oh, today's hero is here. The first person to give us feedback on the program is the ambassador of Belarus to Korea. Is it chicken or is it penguin? Or no, this is bird. Hello, ambassador. I am a Hifse, a Korean crow tit. His name is Tok Tok, but he's afraid that our show might be disappear. Wow. So we are now getting ambassador's feedback to improve our show. Here's a list of questions we're going to ask the ambassadors. See, actually, I was very much satisfied with your show. And I think it's very important for the people to see such a show, to have such a show, because they could describe them about different countries, about their culture, about their traditional. You help them, your show helps them to get the information according to the Korean tradition, according to the Korean mentality. And the way you deliver this information to the people also is very important, because you deliver it in a way which is quite understandable for Korean people. For example, I could not uh, make it by myself, even I, if I could read a lecture, I could have a written lecture in the Korean universities. But even Korean people could get into the country. I think it also for them it would be difficult to get the right points of culture. And you sure help it. And certainly with the help of Tuk Tuk. So how were the reactions of people around you? I sent your show to every people whom I know, to my friend. They were very, very much satisfied. Even I know the ambassadors who, after seeing such show, asked me to send you a mail of your company and your personally because they would like to get the same show about their country. How do you think we can improve the show? Like, do you have any suggestion? It could be shown somewhere, not in the uh, hall, but where outside. For example, the ambassadors could make interviews on the bank of Hanam River. Or we could include maybe some uh, short videos from the ambassador's native country. Or, for example, from each country, you have the talk to bird and the every country has their own personality. Mm -hmm. So I think the participation and the making bridge between talk to and personality of each country, I don't know what would be there, for example, for any other country. For Belarus, it could be maybe small, uh, small uh, bison, for example, yeah. small bison. <laughs> So I think all these things could just decorate the show, make it more alive. A tip from the Belarusian ambassador. We can explore the culture of various countries in a light and fun way and make more animal friends. Would it be okay to enter alone? <laughs> Yes. The second ambassador will meet is my kids love tuk tuk. <laughs> How have you been? Very well. By the way, the Dominican ambassador has been the most frequent guest on our show. How satisfied were you when you were on our show? You were on our show like four or five times. I lost count. <laughs> I am extremely satisfied. I think this is the one uh, program in any country. I have served in six countries already. And never before have I had one program dedicated to uh, the life of the ambassadors, the work of the ambassadors, the issues of the ambassadors. Mm -hmm. It has been wonderful having this window into Korean society and through Arirang to the rest of the world. Uh, I find out I am in Arirang when people call me from Santo Domingo. You're in Korean TV, put it on. Uh, so it's, uh, it has a reach uh, that nobody can imagine. And I, I hope uh, this program continues. Mm -hmm. Do you think this kind of program, the interviews with ambassadors, play a role 
improving our bilateral relations. Definitely. Mm. Korea is the one country where public diplomacy is most developed. And this program in particular is a very good example of public diplomacy. Uh, we promote Korea because our successful work in Korea it, it speaks for itself, speaks for the way we are hosted in Korea, the country of Pali Pali. This is the country where things take place. It's not just theory, it's not just empty promises, but concrete realizations. And Iran is the window for us to showcase our many achievements, in, uh, at least from my side, uh, whatever we have done has been superb thanks to you. So if you were on our show one more time, what kind of topic would you like to discuss? There are always topics now. We are approaching uh, the conclusion of, of the uh, period during which we had to implement the Sustainable Development Goals. And because of COVID-19 and then the, the Ukrainian war, uh, all countries need more time. Developed countries, developing countries, all countries need more time because it's impossible to comply with everything we committed by 2030. What's going to happen? So we have to start talking about this. This should be the next stop. A tip from the Dominican ambassador. We can listen to the ambassador's thoughts on pressing global issues. Nuri always seems to arrive later than me. It's okay. I know the owner of this car. So don't worry. Today's destination is the Embassy of Slovenia. I wonder how the interior of the embassy changed. I'll ask the ambassador this time. How satisfied were you when you appeared on our program last time? At that time, I was quite satisfied. Mm -hmm. The show was not limited also, uh, only to a uh, Korean-speaking audience. Mm -hmm. It was also uh, uh, broadcasted over YouTube uh, in Slovenia, so many people in Slovenia that I know also had a look at, uh, mm -hmm. at that part of the show when it comes to uh, Slovenian embassy in uh, Seoul. Mm -hmm. Do you think this program will help improve bilateral relations? I think yes. Our prim primary task is basically to introduce the country to the general public. And uh, the Diplomat Talks show is uh, one of the tools that uh, is very good in introducing Slovenian culture and Slovenian people mm -hmm. to Korea. Mm -hmm. And also, as, as I said before, it was viewed in uh, Slovenia uh, also, so it's also one of the entrance points of the Slovenians mm. that can learn about uh, Korean culture and uh, Korean media and uh, how Korea stands in the world uh, right now. Mm. We can make it a regular, six <laughs> months uh, regular oh, update on... Uh, <laughs> you promised. You promised. We are I promise. You can... <laughs> <laughs> so no suggestion? We could do it... Uh, not only in a very uh, formal setting, we could try to expand it. We could also try to bring the embassy as close to the people as possible. Because we are here in the end, we are here for keeping contacts with the government. But we are also here to strengthen the ties between the Slovenian people and the Korean people. Mm -hmm. Everyone that just walks by, by the street, can, can drop by, uh, get some information about Slovenia, 
how to come there, uh, what uh, natural resources we have, what natural sites there are in Slovenia. A tip from the Slovenian ambassador. We can be a bridge between the embassy and ordinary citizens. Do you remember this flag? Right. I'm here at the embassy of the Marshall Islands. How satisfied were you when you appeared on our show? I was happy to talk about my country. I was happy to answer questions that uh, people have about where the Marshall Islands is and share some of our culture. I think, in fact, I think every ambassador should come on your show to talk about their uh, countries, what's valuable to them, uh, you know, what, what are some of the objectives they wish to get out of their, their uh, posting in South Korea and perhaps a relationship between uh, the host nation. Any advice for our team? Not so much a, of an advice, but more of a, a genuine um, note of appreciation. Mm -hmm. Because I recall during our interview that there were some efforts put into researching mm -hmm. what the Marshall Islands, what are, the, what are some of the challenges uh, they are facing. And if we can put this in, in an advice um, position, then I would say yeah, continue to you know, reach the, at least the, the human topics. Because you know, sometimes we can be so focused on the numbers, how much money is being made between the two countries, how many units did we sell, uh, that sometimes we forget about the, the more important cultural connection between the countries. So I appreciated that you uh, and your team took the time to study what the Marshall Islands is and, re and ask the questions about climate change which was a very important one. A tip from the ambassador of the Marshall Islands. We can talk about a lot of issues that connect people to people. It's time to meet the final ambassador. The last person we're meeting is the ambassador of Sri Lanka. What most impressed me was the knowledge you already had about Sri Lanka. The post-production really showed me how much research you have done and that was very impressive. And the questions were also uh, very well done uh, so that not only do I get a chance to talk about my country but it's asked in a way that the Koreans also could get a very good understanding about the country. Um, and I also know because it has a very wide viewership Arirang within Korea and outside, and particularly because it's in English, it reaches uh, an audience worldwide. So that's very good from our point as well. Mm. Do you think this kind of show help to improve like our bilateral relations? I think so very much because uh, I think that is the key thing about uh, uh, this show is that it allows uh, countries to tell about themselves to Korea, introduce, it's a platform for us to introduce our countries to Korea. Arirang has a very warm relationship with people, our ambassadors, the way you approach us. And um, uh, so it's, it's very easy for us to work with you as well. So if you were on our show one more time, what kind of topic would you like to discuss? I would like to discuss a little bit more about Sri Lanka, but also uh, how um, the bond between Sri Lanka and Korea as well. Uh, how uh, Korea has contributed to Sri Lanka and how Sri Lanka contributes to Korea, and to maybe explore that bond a little bit more. Yes. A tip from the Sri Lankan ambassador. We can hear diverse stories about the relationship between Korea and other countries. You guys, I got a lot of honest responses.
보통 여기 질문 보면 1, 2, 3, 4, 6번은 그래도 뭐 점수가 꽤 좋아. The score for question 5 was weak. 그러니까 그 나라 얘기만 하는 게 아니라 이제 좀 약간 한국과의 연관성을 조금 더 강조를 하면 어떨까. 저는 일반 시민들 인터뷰 나올 때가 재밌었거든요. 아, 그래요? 그래서 얼마나 서로에 대해서 아는지 음. 인터뷰를 어. 추가해보는 건 어떨까. 기업과 인터뷰들 같은 거 했을 때 모니터링이 되게 좀 그래서 잘 이해가 됐다 이런 게 많았던 것 같거든요, 음. 코멘트가. 패션쇼 했을 때 음. 뭔가 한복이랑 또 니카라가 정통 의상을 함께 뭔가 해서 양국의 어떤 문화를 알리는 것도 좋아서 음. 어, 피디님 인터뷰 가실 때좀 음. 한국적인 거? 음. I like that. What? <웃음> <웃음> 한국을 대표하는 입장이니 좋을 것 한국을 대표한다? 갑자기 되게 책임감는 Yes, I suddenly feel a weight on my shoulders. 지금은 이제 대사님들 위주로만 거의 출연하고 계시고 그쵸. 대사님들 외에도 그 대사관에서 일하시는 분들이나 좀 외교관이나 외교 관련 사람까지는 좀 넓혀볼 수는 있을 것 같아. 그 조각부 자체가 이제 여러 가지 조각들을 음. 이어가지고 하나의 선을 만들어내는 맞아. 거잖아요. 음. 아무나 아니면 은좀 그런 세계적인 얘기를 할때 되게 음. 많이 언급이 음. 되거든요. 음. 재밌는... 그럼 저희 로고도 음. 알록달록하게 음. 여러 색깔을 어, 사용해보면... 우리도 왜냐면 여러 사람, 여러 네. 국가의 네. 이야기를 담는 거니까 이거 이, 이 의견 나쁘지 않네요. It looks like a lot of things will change. 이 정도면은 뭐 괜찮은 것 같은데요? Okay, let's wrap up our meeting. Okay, first person come in. <웃음> 안녕하세요, 덕토님. 안녕하세요. 여기 앉으면 되나요? 저 헬스로는 3년 넘었고 2년 3개월 정도 된것 같아요. What was most memorable while working on diplomat talks? 아, 이 프로그램을 하면서 느낀 게 음, 국가들끼리 정말 협력을 많이 해야지 지금 마주하고 있는 문제들을 잘 해결할 수 있다는 거를 깨달았거든요. 그래서 그런 의미에서 저도 조금 더 세계 시민으로서 의식을 가지고 살아가게 된것 같아요. 개인적으로 캐나다 편 했을 때 선교사들이 와서 한국 이제 다시 일으키는 데 많은 도움을 줬다는 얘기 들었을 때 아, 나도 뭔가 저런 역할을 하고 싶다는 생각을 많이 했거든요. 외국에 대해서 알게 되는 건다뭐 인터넷이나 주변 사람들 얘기나 아니면 제가 여행을 간다거나 이런 건데 그쪽에서 나온 외교관 분들의 얘기를 들으면서 그 나라의 좀 새로운 측면을 알게 되는 게 재밌었던 것 같아요. 확실히 시야가 넓어지는 것도 있고 그게 꼭 필요하다고 생각을 하는데 쪽 문화를 배우면서 제가 더뭐 다른 사람을 더 배려할 수 있게 됐던 것도 있고 기후변화 특집할 때그 핀란드 대사님이 나와서 이제 본인의 경험담을 얘기를 해주셨었는데 그 핀란드 대사님이 어 본인이 직접 겪은 그런 일들을 케이스를 설명을 해주시면서 그 케이스를 들으면서 아 이게 정말 우리가 모두가 같이 신경을 써야 하는 그런 심각한 문제구나 하는 걸 느끼게 됐고 그 이후로 또 개인적으로 좀더 실천하고 조심할 수 있는 그런 계기가 된것 같아요. 저는 아무래도 한국전쟁 특집이 제일 기억에는 많이 남고요. 그 한국의 역사에 대해서 다른 나라의 사람들이 이렇게나 깊게 관여돼 있다는 게 인상 깊었거든요. 저 이제 다른 뭐 외국인들이 나오는 프로그램이 요즘에 많잖아요. 디플로미에서는 조금 그런 개인적인 차원보다는 고차원적인 얘기를 하잖아요. 근데 그러면서도 그 나라가 어떤 나라인지 뭐 어떠한 일을 겪고 있는지 또 저희가 되게 처음에 했을 때 비하면 은 계속해서 조금 더 가볍고 뭔가 친근한 이미지를 만들려고 되게 노력을 많이 하고 있, 있으니까 사람들도 아 외교라는 게 그렇게 어려운 게 아니구나 나한테 먼 얘기가 아니구나 이렇게 생각을 해줬으면 좋겠어요. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on diplomat talks. Tok 님, 저 왔어요. 왜 여기로 오라고 하신 거죠? 이 카메라는 또 뭐예요? 
I think we need to have a serious talk. 진지한 이야기? 그만 두시는 거예요? Hey. 아니 이제 보통 사람들이 진지하게 할 얘기가 있다고 할때 그만 둔다고 말하는 경우가 많거든요. 그래서 여쭤본 거예요. 다른 뜻이 아니라. Nuri, why are you doing this program? 뭐예요? 갑자기 이 심오한 질문은? 이 프로그램 왜 하냐고요? 음... I'll give you some time to think it through. 그 전까지는 세상을 이 정도의 시야로 봤다면 확실히 프로그램을 하고 나서는 이 정도가 훨씬 더 넓은 시야로 세상을 바라보게 된것 같아요. 저희 세상에 여러 가지 문제들이 많잖아요. 근데 결국 문제를 평화적으로 푸는 방법은 외교니까 약간 외교의 중요성도 알게 됐고 서로 다른 나라들의 입장을 아는 것도 얼마나 중요한지 알게 됐고요. 나와 다른 나라에 살고 있는 사람들 그리고 다른 문화를 가지고 있는 사람들을 좀더 이렇게 열린 마음으로 받아들일 수 있게 된것 같아요. 아무래도 이제 그 사람들의 이야기를 듣다 보면은 더 이렇게 뭔가 이렇게 좀안 보이는 벽이 좀 허물어지는 느낌도 있고 이 프로그램을 보는 사람들도 약간 그런 거를 느낄 수 있었으면 좋겠어요. 좀더 포용적으로 열린 마음으로 나와 다른 이들을 받아들일 수 있게 됐으면 좋겠다. 그런 역할을 하는 프로그램이 됐으면 좋겠다 하는 마음이 있습니다. Thank you. That was helpful. Hello. Can I connect to Talk Talk from 2024? If you're listening, can you give me a hint as to our program's fate? I'll be waiting for your response. I'm just fell in love with, 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 with a small girl. <laughs> it looked like perfect. I, I just told you, and Top Top was there, so there's nothing okay. else to say. Okay, you gave me a lot of time. Oh, yes. where, where is it today? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's me and you, Top Top. Oh, so there's only one. Only one, only one. Only one. Only one. Only one.